Hello, as promised, my Caveco fountain pen collection as of December 2021. So this is my first uh, on my wish list forever since I started fountain pen um, hobby, my fountain pen hobby two years ago. It was actually the brass Caveco. For whatever reason, I think when I hear Caveco sports um, in my head is the brass pen. Um, so that was really the one I really wanted, but I started with this one here. It, it was it looks really fun, but when it came, I was severely underwhelmed. And also, I found for whatever reason the threading around the plastic Caveco to be a lot more uncomfortable um, when I'm writing and my finger somehow landed on the threads there on the threading there. It's just really uncomfortable. It's quite painful. And as I said, aesthetically, I'm not quite sure what it is about a certain type of plastic because most of my pens are one type of plastic or another, but this particular type, I just really dislike. So when it came, um, it's just eyeballing it, the hand feel and everything. I was, I decided that I'm not a fan of the plastic range and also changing the nibs. I believe with these plastics one, I have to pull and I had, uh, quite um, a level of anxiety dealing with having to do that and with the aluminium ones I think you can screw in and screw out. So um, the brass Caveco is really in, a, in an ideal world would have been my first Caveco but in this world, in this reality, this was my first Caveco and I was very underwhelmed by it. Uh, the nib however is very pleasant, it's medium and I don't want to have to stress myself about experimenting with uh, a different types of Caveco nib. I very much love using the medium on a um, A6 um, Hobonichi, so that's pretty, you know, the room for writing there is pretty small and um, it's quite comfortably so. Um, so I didn't bother with other type of nibs, except for one incoming one from Japan, a collaboration between Kaveco and a pen shop, which name I can't remember. And I've decided to try the fine nib um, and I'm very nervous about it, but I researched how easy it is to change the nib for the aluminum one. As I said, you simply twist it, turn it, uh, turn in, turn out. And I thought that if I don't like that, I could simply change it with one of the medium. So all of them, all of my Caveco nibs currently are medium because I just want to have fun with the body um, and I don't want to have to have a headache about experimenting with trial and error um, with the nibs. So that's the lilac plastic, that's the lilac um, aluminium. And then we have the lilac violet, I believe. I can't remember which one came first. I think after this lilac plastic came this one here, which I also purchased from a local online distributor. Uh, sad to say that even though I don't live in a small city, um, there is none. There absolutely isn't any brick and mortar fountain pen shop around here. So this is the Vibrant Violet or Violet, uh, again, medium there. And this is the aluminium. I'm pretty new to Caveco, so I'm not yet, um, I'm yet to familiarize myself with the name of their range. Like there is Caveco Collection, there is Caveco AL, like this one here. So I did ask somebody, well, these two are both aluminium, so how come this isn't called AL as well? So this is Caveco AL, uh, this is Caveco Collection. And that's, I think, also a Caveco collection there. So, so this is the little piston there, converter there, and I don't know how practical this is because apparently the converter um, has a lot more ink. So I am also quite happy with how a lot more, it's a lot more, um, I was never a fan of a converter, but I found that with the bulb syringe, 
it cleans the nib a lot better. So now I don't mind, um, I don't mind converter so much and I suspect I won't carry on with using this because the incapacity mainly and also quite fiddly as you can see that's so small. So this one here I believe is the brass. No, this is a steel. So it's very heavy. I've been quite, um, I'm taking my time to try this, to ink this because it's very, very heavy. So this is the steel sport. Again, it's um, medium. It's, I'm just gonna stick to medium. It's my comfort zone and I wanna not have to worry about the nib when I'm still trying to get to know the whole pen and the whole uh, make, maker that is Kaweco. So as you can see here, the incapacity. And it's just, yeah, so I think I have one or two of these, but I doubt I'll use that all. It's very easy as soon as you put the converter, uh, the cartridge in, the ink flows straight, straight away, uh, straight out. So what I love about it with the Caveco at least is that it's immediately the ink flow quite easily. And also I found that uh, cleaning your nib with um, the way you have to when you use a cartridge, which is with the bulb syringe, is actually a, a much cleaner way to clean the nibs. I've been quite happy with that discovery. Okay, and the last one, last but not least, I still have a few um, on my wish list, which I will slowly work towards next year. Um, I still have maybe two more, and one coming from Japan is yet to arrive, so I'll show that. We'll share that when it's here. So this is really the original, the one Kaveco um, that I really wanted from the first moment I started my fountain pen hobby, but I've only, I've only acquired one um, this year. Again, playing it safe, I, um, I kept it to the medium. And I believe um, these metal range is also easily change the nib by screwing in and out. It's interesting that this is a silver or white, okay, for the brass. So I think the sizes are the same, the main variation. The main variation really is the weight. So let me just move it this way. same the variants are really the weight move it like this way yeah all right so that's that's it uh, so far um one more coming from japan and next year i think i have two more uh, that i'm after and then after that i think i'm about done for kaweko so i'll talk to you then bye